Hi, Mr. G Shave here. Um, face shave today. Uh, hope you didn't, uh, no one passed out watching all that blood off the back of my head up there. But yeah, that was a nice little cut. If you didn't see it and you don't like blood, then I don't recommend you go and watch my last video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so face shave today. I'm doing a comparison shave today. Um, I'll start off with the software as I usually do. I'm starting off with the uh, Baum BE. So that's the pre shave. Going back to one of my, well, it's not the original cream. My, my grapefruit is a recent addition. Um, Sandalwood was the first one I got, which is Tobbs. Taylor of Old Bond Street was, I think, one of the first soaps I ever bought. But Taylor of Old Bond Street. <laughs> Really, really highly recommended, um, and that's grapefruit shaving cream. And then we're going with lemon witch hazel Thayer's or Thayer's lemon and witch hazel. And then I'm going Goodfellas Smile Lemon and Mint. So it's a very citrusy shave. This, and then to finish off. I'm going for my coconut and lime um, raw supremo, supreme smoother. Love this scent. Um, but yeah, so it's a very citrusy theme today. <clears throat> and then hardware, I'm going. I'm not using a bowl today. Um, didn't use a bowl yesterday. No, I didn't. Um, <clears throat> no, I, I very rarely use a bowl for the head shaves. But I haven't used this one in a while, which is my Evil Zebra um, Yaki brush. I think it's a 26 mil. <clears throat> and um, in terms of the actual razors, I'm using the Edwin Jagger 316. There it is there. Gives you an idea. I don't know whether you can see it properly. Um, and I'm going to put that up against the Game, game Changer 0.84. So that's the uh, the right the two razors I'm I'm using. That'll be I'm not doing game, I'm not doing comparison videos every week. It's just I, I did one last week, um, and I decided I was going to do this one. I watched Kevy shaves. He did a. a a comparison video I've forgotten which was the second razor but I know he used a game changer um, and I thought you know what I'll do the 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 Edwin Jagger against the razor rock comparison um, blades I'm going to use in there I haven't actually put any blades in yet so I'm going to have a look down here and see what I've got I'm going to go with I tell you what Let's have a look. I'm going to go with some Naysets, I think. Let's go with Nays Gillette Naysets blades. That's if I've got two of them. I should have. Yeah. So, Gillette Naysets blades. So, I'm going to get myself ready, pop the blades in, and we'll go from there. Be right back. Back again. Um, right, so that's them all done. Um, I've got the uh, razors soaking in hot water, but they've got blades in. That's the razor rock. This is the Edwin Jagger. <clears throat> so, open up the tub. Oh, lovely stuff this. Absolutely lovely. I tell you what, you can't get a more realistic grapefruit scent than this tubs. I haven't found one anyway. Um, unless you were to rub freshly squeezed grapefruit juice on your face. I don't think you could get any closer to the real thing. Um, so I'm only gonna put that amount on the on the brush. Forgot to squeeze it out. Squeeze it out. Two shakes. And that's it in there. So <clears throat> here goes then. Let's lather up. 
Yeah, I also saw that uh, Friendship Shaving is recently, I think it's Friendship Shaving anyway, Mark from Friendship Shaving, I, I saw that he's posted a Game Changer point eight four video, I think it's today or yesterday, I don't know. Um, so I shall be looking at that after this video. Um, I I do have a preference. I've I've done a comparison before. I don't know whether I've done it on video, but I've certainly done it when I first bought them. Um, I bought them quite close together, I think. Uh, but I don't think I was doing videos then. So I've been doing videos since January of this year. So definitely not. Um, getting a bit all over the place. Always does after the shower though. When you put the beard balm in it, calms it down and, and if it really is a getting out of order I'll use the beard straighteners but I don't use those that often to be honest. Um, <clears throat> I prefer the bushy look at the moment rather than the straightened look. So right, let's get some water on this and Build this lather a bit. It's a bit too dry. I still think it needs more. But we'll see. I like to face lather, I must admit, I do enjoy it, but I also enjoy bowl lathering as well. Still needs more. It, it just suddenly will explode. Sometimes you know, I'm not trying to get the big soft peaks, but I am trying to get it a bit wetter than it currently is. I, I think this is getting close to what I like. <clears throat> That's nice. That's nice now. There we go. I'm ready to rock and roll. So, on the left side, my left, your right, is the Edwin Jagger. On the right, Game Changer. Razor Rock Game Changer 0.84. So I'm going to start with the Game Changer. Brand new Naset blades. First thing you notice is the game changer gets the first point. Gets two points actually. It's got a better grip and it has no overhang. So that's a better design straight away. Um, but yeah, so two points the game changer straight away. There's definite overhang on the Edwin Jagger. 316 um, but other than that it, it loses on the grip as well but it's still a grippy razor don't get me wrong it's anyway so let's let's go for the first pass now I like Naset blades oh yeah straight through like a knife through butter absolutely brilliant They said to some of my favourite blades, along with the Astras, I think Astras first, maybe. Um, Naysets in a very close second. The Naysets, I think, are definitely sharper than the Astras. Uh, and more, you know, more aggressive, shall we say, than the Astras, but... It's a good match to the Game Changer. Really good match. 
I don't know about the, the milder version of the game changer, but this is the 0.84 on this Naset blade. It's a really, really nice match. So, let's now go with the Edwin Jagger. Get the soap off. I don't think that's as aggressive certainly not as aggressive as the point eight four razor rock but it's a lot smoother it's a lot smoother you can feel feel the blade on the razor rock you can you can still feel the blade on this but nowhere near as much as you can with the razor rock so and I think the Naset blade is suited to this as well two brand new Naset blades very nice so I would say for aggressiveness and efficiency, I think the Razor Rock is definitely more efficient. So that's another point to the Razor Rock. But for comfort, it's definitely the Edwin Jagger 316, without question. I would say, having said that, on the first pass with the grain, if anything, I'd say the Edwin Jagger's taken more off, uh, only by a hair's breadth. But uh, in fact, I, I'll take that back. I would say it's probably about exactly the same. So efficiency, I'm going to take that point back because they've both left the same. We'll see on the second pass now. <clears throat> so. Well lubricated. Just taking some of the spare lather or lather from the side of the handle. Now my technique is yeah I, I really lather it up on the face on the first pass and second pass and third pass I just paint it on. Because the bristles have gone, so they're not, main, you know, they're not capturing the the lather on the face. So you're never going to get as thick a layer of lather. Well, you can, but you need to use a lot more soap um, to get that effect. Um, so this will be interesting. This is usually where I can, you know, I can feel a more of a difference. So game changer, game changer on the right. Game changer on the right means, and it's going across the grain. So most people would go across like that, yeah? But I actually go up, because the, the beard, the angle of my beard growth is sort of like that. So, and it just works better for me this way. <clears throat> Now that's quite smooth now. Second pass. Still feel the blade though. Really nice. Very smooth. Look at me getting it all over my collar on both sides. <clears throat>
really smooth. Really pleasant. <clears throat> Very comfortable shave across the green. So Edwin Jagger now on this side. There's the Edwin Jagger. even smoother. Now I always go all the way across on this pass because it's actually across the grain so. Right, second pass smoothness both really smooth blades brilliant i would say there's definitely less beard on this side than there is on this but you've got to bear in mind the different angles that i was going across the grain at so i'm going to reserve my judgment on how much it picks up the stubble to when I finished my third pass. So I would say comfort wise second round goes definitely to the Edwin Jagger 316 but that you know I, I'm not by in any means saying that the uh, Razor Rock 0.84 is uncomfortable on the across the grain pass because it isn't it's really quite comfortable but it was just smoother the, the 316 was smoother. So more water, third pass, against the grain. I think as the stallion says, the money pass. This is quite thin now, I'm surprised it's as thin as this. Add it up a bit more. That's fine. Right. Against the grain, I'm going to start with the Edwin Jagger. <clears throat> Hear the blade feedback. You can just feel the blade. Very nice, very comfortable, very smooth. Right, third pass complete with the Edwin Jagger. Now, game changer. It's going, so against the grain for me, as I keep saying in all of my videos, it's going straight across on my right hand side. And just to even things up, I'm going all the way across. Very smooth. Almost as smooth as the Edwin Jagger, but there's just something co more comfortable about the Edwin Jagger in that third pass. So again, I give the third pass at the moment in terms of comfort. To the 316 and the 316 has done a better job right I've got more stubble especially around the normal pickup areas but there's significantly more stubble than on this side this side I could probably leave 
so I'm surprised. I thought the Razor Rock 0.84, that could be down to technique, could be something I did during the shave. Um, but at the moment, pick up pass to come. The, the one thing I said, I think I said it in my last comparison video, uh, which I think was my last face shave last week. Um, I think if you start out with some completely separate razors, so for instance, let's go extremes. If I started out with my Mool R41, most aggressive razor I've got by far, unless you go to a shavette. Go with that, three passes, you're going to be bloody sore, but you'll have a close shave and it'll be BBS. You might have taken three layers of skin off, but it'll be BBS. Versus the Merca 34, three passes and a pickup pass, you will get the same result, I reckon. Unless you've got a really thick beard and, and you know, there are people out there who, who, who have that, but I maintain that if you're doing three passes <clears throat> and a pickup, then any razor pretty much, unless it's an absolute rubbish razor, will give you the same result. So, very smooth, very little soap on that, <clears throat> um, really, really smooth, very comfortable. I'm applying no pressure. Right, this is the uh, decision time. <clears throat> Going to wash off with warm water. The soap, by the way, because I haven't talked about the soap at all, apart from the scent. The soap is stunning. You can always, you know, Razor Rock and Razor Rock. Taylor Roll Bond Street are one of those man soap manufacturers, old London soap manufacturers, um, that you can pretty much, re well, you can rely on them being, the quality being the same, consistent, consistently from one tub to the other. That they're really good. And the scent out of this world. Right, I've got no difference now. They're both both sides of BBS. I've got I can't tell the difference between either side. So there you go, proof again that you know if, if I do another comparison video, I might do the extremes video to see what it's like. Put the R41 against the Merca 34. But I reckon on three passes and a pickup pass, you can end up with the same result. I think the Merca 34 will win because whichever side I use the R41 on will be so sore after three passes and a pickup pass and it'll probably have some blood on it. I've got a bit of blood here, a couple of spots. Unless I'm very, very careful. But the R41 isn't called the beast for nothing. Um, if you haven't seen an R41, um, it's here. This is my Mool R41. It's got teeth. Um, so, yeah. It, it's a serious, serious bit of kit. And I would say I would not recommend this for the inexperienced shaver. So, uh, I'm going to get myself all cleaned up, all the, the bits and pieces cleaned up, and I'll be right back. Back again. Right, let's get the cold uh, 
cold rinse on. No sting at all on the left hand side, none whatsoever. There's a little bit, it's a, it's a gentle burn, fair to middling. This, this, I would say it's a, in certain spots, I probably overshowed it a little bit right along the jawline here, that's burning quite a lot. Um, but there was absolutely no burn whatsoever on the left, on the Edwin Jagger. So I think that the Edwin Jagger is a little bit more forgiving, shall we say. I would say both are efficient razors. They're not beginner razors. Um, I, I, I wouldn't recommend either of those as a beginner razor. They're, 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 I would say on an aggressive say, a scale, let's say out of five, I would say they're two and a half to three. Um, so verging on the three. The, the five would probably be the, the uh, Moolah 41, as far as my den is concerned. Um, that, that so so I'm saying they're probably a three because I would probably put the Merca 34 and the Edwin Jagger D89 at two and a half two sort of around that that area um, so if you're used to using the Merca 34 or the Edwin Jagger D89 and you want to step up they're a great step up the same with the fine marvel razor I would say out of the the two, the Marvel is 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 a definite two and a half. Um, the these two, the three one six and the Razor Rock Game Changer point eight four, I would say certainly on a three, and the point eight four is probably verging on a three point five. I do think that the Razor Rock Game Changer is more aggressive. Um, which one would I prefer to shave with? Kind of depends. Kind of depends. Seven days growth, without question, the razor rock. But because I shaved it midweek now, well, it was Tuesday, um, I would say the 316 handled that no problem. And it would probably, and it definitely handles a seven day shave, you know, seven days growth, no problem. But the one, which one would I prefer on a seven day growth? would be the razor rock i would use i could easily use the edwin jagger 316 as a daily daily shaver now because you know i've got my technique down and stuff and might not have it on my head <laughs> but i don't use those on there uh, let's wash this off Yeah, so for me, the, I think I prefer comfort wise, definitely prefer the Edwin Jagger 316 stainless steel. Oh, <laughs> this is the best bit for me. In, well, it's all good. It's all good. I promise you, it's all good. I'll put some on my head. Oh, just so nice. Just, I mean, this is why I love wet shaving like this. Just, it's this bit, it's, it just gets to you. Um, right, good fellas, lemon and mint. Now, 
it's clear as you can see but if I shake this up it's completely cloudy and it'll stay that way for quite a while it won't separate for a while so I don't know what's in there it's got a restrictor on the top nice Definitely got a burn to it. Not on my head, obviously, because I was yesterday, but... Oh. That's... You know how I said I talked about grapefruit? <clears throat> this has got the zest of and pith of a lemon. That's the... It's like that in your nose. Fresh. Fresh. Really refreshing. I don't get much of the mint, if I'm honest. I really don't, um, but that is a real citrusy scent. I like that, really do. <clears throat> and then to top it all off, and I know I'm going to love this. I don't use it often because, and, and I've hardly used a lot of it because I love it so much. Um, Raw Supremo or Supreme Smoother, coconut and lime. I'm putting a bit more because I'm doing my head as well. So I'm only using that much anyway. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Just unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Thoroughly enjoyed that shave. Thoroughly enjoyed that comparison. Um, love it so that's me done so it's um, who's the winner for me by a very 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 slim margin I would say the 316 it's the one that I would reach for on a daily basis if I had more growth then the game changer would win um, and because of the way I've always been using doing my videos I've usually had seven days growth but I've changed that now, so if you've missed that video, basically I, I'm now going to be shaving from today all the way through to Wednesday at the latest uh, on a daily basis, or certainly uh, you know once between now and Wednesday, um, but probably more often because I enjoy it. It's relaxing, um, and um, and then I'll I won't shave then until Friday and Saturday, both head and face. Um, and Friday I'll do my, my head shave and Saturday I'll do my uh, face shave. Uh, I don't know what happened last night with the video, didn't go up, wouldn't load. I had to re-edit the whole video, re-render it and go through the whole process again this morning and post it this morning. So apologies for yesterday but there you go. Um, that's the result. So Edwin Jagger is my first choice. And by a, a mosquito's eyebrow hair comes second, the game changer 0.84. Mosquito's eyebrow hair. Where did that come from? <clears throat> I could, well, I was definitely trying not to say the hair from, from another part of its anatomy. So, um, But there you go. So it's goodbye from those razors and it's goodbye from me.